Hello guys, this is the next part of the seismic design calculating the natural frequency of a building. Earlier we discussed railing method, today we will discuss model shape method or you can say eigenvalue instruction method. So we will go to the geometry and structure wizard frame model bay frame and here I will give the input values as per my requirement height of the building is 45 once again now we have to apply the supports go to the journal click on support create fixed type of support to highlight the support go to the front view to apply this support at the bottom nodes check in isometric view that all the bottom nodes are selected properly assign selected nodes now the uh, next part is to apply the cross section so go to the property define rectangle material type is concrete I will apply this property to all the beams and columns so simply click assign to view all the property has been applied this is a 3d or rendered view go to the modeling part again so now the next part is to apply the load case So before we going to load case, we will go to the command menu. Since we have to check the mode shape, so we will apply cutoff mode shape. Go to the commands menu. You have to go to the miscellaneous option at the last tool and search cutoff mode shape. Default value is six. We will like to see ten mode shape. Click OK. Then go to the load case detail. So we go to the general load and definition, load case detail. Loading type will be seismic. click on seismic click on add to apply this self weighting next direction with a positive value of factor 1 similarly for z now you have to apply the udl put the udl apply a udl of 13 kN in gz direction sorry gx direction this load you have to apply down all the beams and similarly for the gz direction then a floor load you have to apply of 2.5 kilo newton in that particular area in gx direction and the y range will be minimum value 0 from the bottom to the maximum height 45 and similarly same pressure and density of pressure direction will be changed gz and the same height from bottom to maximum height at last we will calculate frequency so first we have calculated really frequency now we will go to the model calculation this method is also called hygiene value extraction method you can see when you click on frequency model calculation Calculate frequency using the eigenvalue extraction method. We are neglecting minimum mass node, missing mass node now. So assign to view all these. Now go to the uniform force. This will be applied to the beams only. So we will go to the beam parallel to X. beam parallel to Z 
assigned to selected mm -hmm. beam only that we are selected in X and Z. This will also apply in X and Z direction. All the things has been done. Now the analysis part is has to be do. So go to the analysis print, click on add, then close. Go to the analyze, run analysis. Now go to the view output file. This is the Eigen solution. You can see mode shape 1 and 2 has the frequency same, taking the same period of time. Similarly, the mode shape 4 and 5, frequency same. Similarly, the 8 and 9 mode shape, taking the same period of time. Mass participation factor. This is for the mode. So this is the way natural frequency of building is calculated using Eisen value extraction method or the modal shape method. To check the different mode shape, we have to go to the post processing. So select the seismic load. You see the mode shape one comes out to be here, and here are its different. This is the mode shape 2, say the mode shape 3, this is the mode shape 4, different mode shapes. This is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8, this is 9, this is the 10. This is the reactions, this is the beams and their graphs. So this is the way natural frequency of building is done through uh, Agen value extraction method model shape. If you have any queries regarding this particular tutorial, this particular session, you can post your queries as comment and I would likely to solve them as, as soon as possible. If you want more video tutorials or new topic from Stratford, just mail me or comment on my channel and please subscribe more and more so that I will come up with more upcoming tutorials soon. Thank you very much and stay blessed and keep following my channel and subscribe. Thank you very much once again.